Yes, thank you. Um, good evening. I'm Ken McIntyre, uh, Executive Director of San Bruno Mountain Watch. And um, we hope to address some of your concerns about the Northeast Ridge Project. I've talked to several of you and to clarify our uh, positions on this issue. The Center for Biological Diversity and the Wild Equity Institute asked me to, to speak for them as well. Um, before we get started, I'd like to know how many of the attendees here are opposed to the project that you're going to vote on uh, coming up. Would you all raise your hand if you're opposed to this project? And I know you received a lot of emails and most of them were against this project. And two and a half years ago, uh, we turned in 400 signatures on petitions of people who were voting against the EIR addendum. We understand that most council members are concerned about the environment and don't like the proposed project and wouldn't approve such a project if it came before you as a new project. It doesn't address Brisbane's real housing needs and it's pretty much devoid of eco-friendly building practices that were mentioned by the previous speakers. San Bruno Mountain Watch has said from the beginning that an EIR addendum is not sufficient to address the scope of the proposed project or the changes in the environment since 1982. There have been many. The stakes are high for the endangered butterflies, but also for present and future human generations living here who need open space, clean water, efficient transportation, and sufficient water supply. The council should not take these needs lightly just because the project is not a, of a large scale and should resist the temptation to approve the EIR addendum just to get the issue over with. The habitat on the ridge took tens of thousands of years to evolve and deserves as long as it takes us to get the decision as right as we can make it. I'm going to focus on issues of the butterfly corridor. So what do I do? Oh, it's up there. Yeah, okay, great. Um, the HCP talks about flight corridors for the butterflies, and they're important for um, maintaining the butterflies' genetic diversity is also for allowing uh, the butterflies to move if one part of their habitat is destroyed, as part of the Northeast Ridge was by fire a couple of years ago. This is from the recovery plan, the Calippe Silver Spot Butterfly Recovery Plan by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Uh, just came out, or else there was a typo when they said 2010 on it. Furthermore, members of the genus, which is Spearia, tend to avoid edges of the landscape. When at high density, a related grassland silver spot butterfly is especially unlikely to cross edges. So this is a slide that shows the edges of the um, butterfly habitat that will be left after this project is finished. The project itself is uh, done in dark gray there. And you can see it's bounded by roads and housing developments and an industrial park. The flight corridor to address isolation in the EIR addendum was endorsed by the Fish and Wildlife Service. And what you can see is what they're proposing is to the butterflies could fly from the Northeast Ridge over Guadalupe Canyon Parkway, then over Carter Street, then back over Guadalupe Canyon Parkway, and either through or above or around a grove of eucalyptus trees that are there uh, on the McKesson property. TRA did a study, the only scientific study done on the Calippe silver spot butterflies of San Bruno Mountain in 1982. That's the only data that we really have outside of some monitoring uh, uh, surveys that were called into question in the year 2000. So they identify three kinds of barriers. One of them would be nearby cities, urban developments, or industrial parks. Those are nearly total barriers. Or dense plantings of trees, like the eucalyptus trees, representing severe barriers. Or major paved roads, which are partial barriers. So what are we talking about? Well, here's the, uh, the uh, condo project that's 
downhill from the proposed development would represent a total barrier. The butterflies might fly into the lots on the edge of it, but not through it, according to uh, LSA 2004 that quoted TRA from 1982. These are both uh, consulting firms that have worked on the EIR addendum. Partial barriers are represented by the roads. The top picture is looking from the north side of Guadalupe Canyon Parkway across to the northeast ridge. You can see that it's more than a four-lane highway there. The bottom left picture is looks across Carter Street, which is four lanes over there. And the other picture on the right is looking west on Guadalupe Canyon Parkway. You can see that it's actually at that point six lanes. And uh, on the north side, you can see eucalyptus trees on the north side. And here we, here's the quote from LSA 2004 about partial barriers. Then we've got severe barriers like the eucalyptus grove. Well, if you're on the north side of Guadalupe Canyon Parkway, assuming you went around the, eucaly the eucalyptus trees there, you fly across if you're one of the butterflies and then you're confronted with a eucalyptus grove, a dense one. And the silver spot, according to Thomas Reed Associates in 1982, uh, were, were restricted. They didn't apparently like to cross dense stands of trees. So to recap, the butterflies, to use the corridor that the Fish and Wildlife Service has endorsed, cross Guadalupe Canyon Parkway, then cross Carter Street, then cross Guadalupe Canyon Parkway, fly over the eucalyptus trees, and then they can be on their way to the rest of the mountain. The proposed flight corridor ignores the only research done and defies common sense. The proper course is to call for new EIR or redesign the project. Don't take a chance with extinction on our collective watch. And I'd like to show you a little um, video that illustrates what I've been trying to say. Take my word for it, the music that goes with it is very dramatic. <laughs> Fly to the bumblebee. But if you watch the development of the project, you can see that this you know, essential corridor to get to and from the Northeast Ridge is gradually reduced and reduced and reduced. And the project that is being proposed, uh, we feel is going to seal it off and that will eventually result in, in the uh, extinction of the butterflies on that part of the mountain. Thank you. Okay.